You know, they say it's healthy to do something every day that scares you. Well, get ready to check that box off for today because I'm going to show you this one guitar exercise that will scare the crap out of you. Now, how am I so sure about that? Well, this exercise definitely scares the crap out of me. And uh, if I haven't given you any reason to hate me yet, I think this lesson will do it. So uh, let's get started, shall we? And just so you know, I'm going to be suffering right along with you. I'm using an acoustic today that has a particularly wide neck profile. So it's definitely not going to be doing me any favors. And uh, you'll see what I mean in just a second. Now, at first glance, this exercise might resemble some of the spidery exercises I've taught in the past, like the spider walk, the drunken spider walk, the spider climb, so on and so forth. But um, this exercise is, in fact, so painful that I don't even have a name for it. Okay, enough talking it up. Let's dive right in. So we're going to first configure our fingers in typical spider exercise fashion. We're going to start with our first finger on the seventh fret here on the low E string. And then we got eight, nine, 10, right with the rest of the fingers. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pretend like we just glued each of those fingers to the frets. Okay, so they're stuck there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to unglue two fingers at a time, starting with these two fingers, right? So these fingers are now independent. These are still glued. And what they're going to be doing, uh, and by the way, I like to consider this, oops, I like to consider this like home base, you know? So we're, when you're on that low E string, that's home base. So you can kind of take your time to, you know, like have your brain tell your hand what you want it to do. Sometimes it takes a second, right? And then once you have these fingers going in this order, right? First finger, second finger, right? And you alternate. You're going to walk them up the strings, every single string and back while these other two fingers are glued to the fretboard, right? Now, you don't have to pick the strings if you don't want to. I don't blame you if you don't want to. <laughs> What's most important is that this is more about the movement, right? Not the musicality. There is zero musicality in this exercise. So you're just going to be doing that. But make sure that you're proceeding, you know, through the strings as if you're playing them, right? So you don't want to just kind of do this and act like, oh, I totally did it. No, you didn't. You got to <laughs> really fret those notes. They don't have to be perfect and they definitely won't. As you can see from my example, man, why did I pick this guitar today? Um, it's uh, it's going to be tough. But as you do it, you're going to walk them through back and forth, right? Just like they're two legs, right? Walk them through up the strings and then down. I would say, like, you know, do it at least once up and once all the way down, okay? Now, once we've gone through the first group of fingers, we're going to have to uh, readjust to a different group of fingers. So once we do these two, Next up are these two, our first and third fingers. So while you're in home base, take that opportunity to remember how to do this motor function here, right? And remember, these other two fingers are glued, so they can't move. And we walk these up the strings. Oh boy, this is really, this is really hard. This neck is killing me. Okay, and we walk them up. I wanna make sure I'm getting the, oh boy. Yeah, the high E string always gets me on this guitar. And then you just walk them back. Now you're gonna struggle your way through it as I just did, right? And that's okay. As you're struggling, what that kind of tells you is I'm working out muscles in my hand I've never really worked out before. And that's a good thing. That means that we're getting some new sensation, some new exercise going. Whew. Okay, and once we do that, our next group of fingers are gonna be the two middle fingers here. Slightly easier. When there are two fingers right next to each other, they're a bit easier. But we're gonna walk these down. <laughs> Whew, there we go. And then once we've gone through these two, next up is our second and fourth finger, right? Like that. And then we're gonna walk those up the strings like this. Oh boy, I gotta watch what I'm doing here. I don't, uh, you know what? I'm gonna correct myself here because I'm skipping a string. I gotta make sure I'm, they're both on the same string there. There we go. Oh boy. Told you I'd be suffering with you. We're in this together. <laughs> and then once you got through this configuration, next up is these two, All right? So just kind of give yourself a second to get used to the motion and then just walk these down. Now. 
what order you walk them. Oh boy, see, your hand is going to just disagree with you this entire time. It's going to be like, nope, nope, don't want to do that. I am not programmed for this. <laughs> oh man. And then once you do that, we're in the final step here for this part of the exercise. Yes, there are two parts to this exercise. We're going to do the first and fourth fingers. So we just do that, all right? And then we walk them. Slightly easier. Oh man. Maybe picking the strings would be a good idea so you at least know where you're at. Or you can just really watch your fingers like a hawk and make sure. Oh man, okay. Woo. Let's take a little break and shake it off. Okay, now moving on to part number two. Please don't hate me. Part two of this grueling exercise is gonna be pretty much the same thing, only our home base shifts from the low E string to the high E string. And we're actually going to be uh, starting off with descending the fingers, right? It's actually slightly easier in this part, which I think is better. It's better to get through the worst part of it first so that the second part feels more like a relief. I truly hope that, that that's what you end up feeling. So we're going to start with, like I said, first and second finger here. So let's get those kind of loosey goosey. And then we'll just walk those, oh, walk those up the strings in order. All right, okay, not too bad, not too bad. Moving on, we're going to use our first and third fingers. So just getting those ready to go. And here we go. Like I said, you can totally opt out of actually picking the string. Let me do that again. You can totally opt out of picking the strings. Uh, this is really a strictly fretting hand exercise. So your picking hand doesn't really benefit much uh, although I will say that if you just want to um, know, you know, if your fingers are landing in the right spot, if you pick the notes, you'll be able to hear them. So that's one way that you can do it. And then once we've gone through first and third finger, the next order is second and third finger here. So let's just kind of get those nice and loosey goosey and let's walk those up. Oop, already off to a bad start. There we go. Oh man. Normally I, I love playing this guitar, but not when I'm doing this. Okay. Now we've gotten two and three. Next up is two and four. So we get those nice and loosey goosey. And then we walk those up and down. Let me do that again. I don't feel like I did it quite good enough. This is definitely something you want to move one at a time, right? I'm kind of speeding through it. Again, this is not a, this is a, uh, an exercise for your uh, fretting hand, but it's not about speed, right? It's not about how fast you can go up and down with those, those movements. Because honestly, if you can just complete those movements, that's a victory in itself. So take your time with it. Absolutely take your time with it. All right, next up we have third, fring uh, third finger, fourth finger. Here we go. Get those nice and independently jiving here. Okay, here we go. Walking them up and back down. Oh boy, where am I? B string, B string? Yes, okay, cool. <laughs> All right, now that we've gotten our third and fourth finger, finally we have our first and our fourth finger. So let's get those nice and loosey-goosey. Okay, let's begin walking them up. I feel like this is a, okay, I gotta do that again. Uh, let's do, <laughs> I feel like this is uh, like I'm uh, doing some kind of, this is like an exercise, like one of those old 80s exercise VHS videos. <laughs> I'm like, I'm Richard Simmons now. I'm the Richard Simmons of guitar. This is what my, this is what, where my career has led me to. <laughs> I'm just having fun. Okay. Sorry, let me do that again. I'll just make sure I'm doing it right. There we go. Getting through those motions, staying on the proper string. Okay. All right. And that completes the exercise. So you have those two parts. Starting off home base on the low E string, and then you're ascending and then descending, and then starting off on the high E string uh, where you're descending and then ascending. And that is the exercise. You scared yet? In all seriousness though, you've got nerves of steel just watching this exercise take place. So I'm sure when you're practicing it, like I said, just really take it slow pay very close attention to what you're doing. If you find yourself in a situation to where it's just virtually impossible, because I understand everybody's hand is different, everybody's hand health is different, you know. 
So don't be too hard on yourself if it's like physically impossible. I have a weird jointy thing in this hand, so it makes it a little extra hard. I totally understand that. But uh, if you can, when you know when you're gluing, you know how you're you're walking with two fingers and then gluing the other two. If you can at least keep one finger glued, I'd say that's just as effective of an outcome. You know, you don't have to keep them both glued there. If you can even just keep the pinky while you walk these fingers up, you know, which is challenging in itself, you know, that still counts as a completion in my book. So you've just been given possibly the gnarliest guitar exercise you've ever encountered in your life. You're welcome. <laughs> but when you're practicing this, I want to make sure that your practice sessions are designed in a way to get the absolute most results out of a crazy grueling exercise like this. And that is why I am gifting you with a free practice session cheat sheet. This will show you exactly how to frame your practice sessions to get the most results in the minimum amount of time. So be sure to click here to claim your copy or check the link in the description box. And if you enjoyed this lesson, first of all, God bless you. And second, be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and be sure to check out some of our more forgiving exercises right over here. I want to thank you for hanging out with me today and sticking with it. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. Seriously, I'm Eddie with Guitar Mastery Method and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.